sponsored by Instabug, who have an SDK to help you minimize debugging time by providing you with complete device details, network logs, and reproduction steps with every bug report. Find out more at instabug.com. Hello, my name is Paul, and in these videos, we're gonna build a complete SwiftUI application from scratch, while teaching a wide variety of the fundamentals of how SwiftUI actually works. Now I'm aiming this video at folks who already have an understanding of how UIKit works, Apple's older UI framework. If that's not you, I've got a complete beginner video, you'll see it on screen right now, the link for that, that walks you through the basis of Swift and SwiftUI at the same time. You can of course try and follow along here, but there are some things I won't explain, because they predate SwiftUI, they're before SwiftUI, they're the Swift stuff that I assume you know. Now the application we're gonna build is called iDyne. It's a menu ordering app with pictures, tabs, navigation, and much more. I've specifically chosen it to teach a wide variety of Swift UI skills in one application. So you learn a huge amount very quickly. While of course ending up with a real Swift UI app you can customize and ship if you want to. Now I'm running Xcode 12.4 here. 12.5 is also fine as is any later Xcode release but not Xcode 11, for example, or earlier. 12 or later is what matters. Go ahead and choose Create New Xcode Project, then choose iOS and App, and then press Next. For your product name, please type in iDyne. For interface, choose SwiftUI. For lifecycle, you want SwiftUI App. And for these checkboxes at the bottom, make sure they are all unchecked. Then press next and create on your desktop or wherever else you want it. Boom. Now there's a variety of assets you can download. You'll see a link on the screen right now uh, to download to give you a jump start in this program. I have them already in my assets folder here. You see it's helper.swift. This contains one small extension to let us load JSON files from our app bundle easily. This predate SwiftUI, this is just regular Swift code, so I'm not going to explain it here. Instead, just drag that into your project now. Boom. We also have menu.swift and order.swift. Two types, well actually three in total if you count the third one in there, that describe our menu and one person's order from that menu. Again, this predates SwiftUI. It is old Swift code, so I'm not going to explain it here. Instead, just drag those two files into your project, like that. We also have menu.json. This is the data for our project. You can see here, there's a breakfast menu with maple French toast, stacko pancakes, power muesli, and more. These are all the things they can order from our menu. So go ahead and drag menu.json into your project. And finally, we have this images folder containing all the pictures required to make our project work. So you can see there's donuts and so forth here at various sizes, uh, cheese toasty, tea, corn on the cob, all sorts here. These are the assets for our program. So I want you to go ahead and choose the asset catalog, assets or XC assets, and drag all the images from that directory into your Xcode asset catalog, just like that. So we've added all our code now, we've added our assets, and with that, we're ready to go. We're ready to start coding. 